What has happened in South, in South Africa is totally unacceptable. Uh, we will not accept it. And uh, as I said earlier, enough is enough. And um, we're not going to come back to this. We're going to have to address it once and for all this time. So uh, this is a position uh, of the government that we're going to draw a red line here. And um, whatever measure uh, that needs to be taken to ensure the safety of Nigerians uh, in South Africa, we will take. And we have a very clear idea of what we want to uh, achieve. And the uh, special envoy has uh, very clear directives from Mr. President uh, about the commitments and guarantees that we expect from the South African government. The information that we have from the High Commission and the Consul General in South Africa is that no Nigerian life has been lost during these crises. And I think that's very important because on social media, um, there's a lot of stories going around, Nigerians being killed, jumping off buildings, and being burnt. This is not the case. Uh, what we know uh, that uh, premises, uh, shops uh, of Nigerians have been looted and properties destroyed. He believes, and the government believes, that we have to take the moral high ground on this matter. We here in Nigeria must not fall into the temptation of uh, also resorting to the acts that we are condemning um, in others. The people that will suffer from those acts uh, of uh, vandalism and aggression uh, are not South Africans or anyone else, but they are Nigerians. The government is acting. We cannot state everything and put everything in the public domain uh, with regards to what we are doing, um, obviously, but um, want to assure all Nigerians that this government is determined that the red line has been drawn and that we will not give in on this occasion and that the South African government has to assume its responsibilities and, um, and, and do the right thing. And we're going to consider other options to ensure that the message uh, gets across uh, to uh, the government of South Africa. It's not a question of weakness uh, or anything of the sort. We have to move, but we have to move decisively.